And we are uh, got time for about two more questions the way it looks. Uh, what do you prefer as a glucose precursor, calcium propionate or calcium glycol or glycerin? Which one of these increased glucose for a long time? None of them. And which of them is more rapidly increased level of glucose? Well, I think, notice the word, I think, the, the, the speed is going to come from propylene glycol. Uh, that is go that, that, uh, that's going to be absorbed across the rumen wall. So the glycerin will fall right in, in, in line with that. Uh, so it'll be absorbed very quickly through the rumen wall. And if you drench propylene glycol, then you will get a spiking of blood glucose and get an insulin response. And that's one of the reasons why farmers drench propylene glycol or glycerol. Now, if you feed it, of course, it comes in at a much slower rate. It won't have near the impact. So his, his point is that it would, uh, it would be more long-term. In fact, Penn State did some work feeding uh, propylene glycol uh, and fed about, uh, as I recall, about two kilos of that a day uh, to the cows and got nice, and it responded. It responded well, but it's not going to snap cows out of borderline ketosis or subacute uh, ketosis on the farm. Calcium propionate is a good product. I like it in a drench because I get very biologically available calcium and the propionate is a precursor as well when it goes to the, uh, I mean, that's what the liver is going to make. The liver is going to take the propylene glycol and glycerol uh, and basically convert that in the liver uh, to, to propionate and then propionate becomes, or I should say it's going it to be made by the liver into glucose. I'm sorry, stuttering on that a bit. So it's so uh, they're, they're all precursors. They're all precursors. So I, I guess if I'm going to drench my cows, uh, you know, uh, right after calving, I'm going to probably use calcium propionate, probably going to be up or around uh, 450 grams of that. If I got borderline ketosis, uh, subclinical ketosis at day three, four, five after calving, I'm going to drench propylene glycol until a cow comes back with a uh, uh, milk test or a blood test is saying they're no longer showing high levels of BHBA, beta hydroxybutyric acid. Same thing applied to glycerin as far as that goes. Glycerin in some cases can be cheaper than propylene glycol as a byproduct of the biodiesel industry as far as that goes.